I'm attorney Justin Ziegler of Jay-Z Helps, a Florida injury law firm. Today I'm going to talk about ankle fractures and injuries from slip and falls and other injuries on someone else's property or on a cruise. Stay tuned and watch the entire video because I'm going to talk about some ankle fracture and injury settlements and verdicts and I'm going to talk about why certain amounts were awarded for pain and suffering. Jay-Z Helps, a Florida injury law firm. This entire video is going to assume that someone's negligence or carelessness caused your ankle injury by someone. I'm mainly going to be talking about slip and falls and injuries on someone's property. First thing to note is, all things equal, the value of an ankle sprain, the pain and suffering component, is not worth as much as an ankle fracture. All things equal, an ankle fracture is worth more than a tear in your ankle tendon or ligament. This is because it is easier to prove that the fracture was caused by the accident, whereas there's a chance that a ligament or ankle tear could have pre-existed, existed before the incident. You arrive at the value for the pain and suffering component of an ankle ligament tear or tendon tear by looking at past jury verdicts in Florida and past settlements. Now, if you take a look at those, you'll see that the value is about twenty-five to fifty thousand dollars for a tear of an ankle ligament or tendon. And again, that's looking at past Florida jury verdicts. However, there's not a guarantee that you'll even get a penny or more. You may not be able to prove that the premises that caused your ankle injury was at fault. You may be one hundred percent at fault for the accident as well. This is a photo from a case that I settled after filing a lawsuit and I settled it for $64,900. As you can see there is a hole that is now covered up with sand or that was covered up with sand after my client fell. He was working, he walked to the parking lot while this was happening. He already had a bad ankle from before the fall but there was a hole that he didn't know was there, was covered with grass and he stepped in it, he fell, twisted his ankle, complained of ankle pain, he ended up getting diagnosed, diagnosed with an unstable ankle and a tear in the peroneal tendon of his ankle and ultimately had surgery but again the case settled for $64,900 and that case is important for several reasons. One, it shows that even if you have a prior injury you still may be able to get money for your ankle injury, the aggravation. You just look at what is the value of pain and suffering for the worsening of your ankle. The fact that he had surgery to the tendon in his ankle is really what drove up the value of the case. Now I said that he tore the peroneal tendon in his ankle. You can see the peroneal tendon is there. If you have a tear of your ankle you want to request the MRI films or CT scans and once you get those you want to send them to the property owner or operator who's responsible for causing your accident. You also want to send it to their insurance company as well. You want to point to the tear in the film and show that to the, the adjuster. It'll show him or her that you know what you're talking about, that you're prepared should you have to file a lawsuit, and that you're ready to go to trial. Of that case that I just described, about $58,000 of that $64,900 settlement was for pain and suffering. I came to the, that amount because the rest of it was for medical bills. This is the actual vacuum wand from a case where my client was at home, Stanley Steamer Carpet Cleaner came to his house, we claimed, my client claimed that the employee of Stanley Steamer by accident let the vacuum slip out of his hand, it hit my client's foot, he claimed an ankle tear. And one interesting thing to note in that claim is my client waited about 21 days or so to get medical treatment. Generally speaking when you wait that long after the accident, 21 days, the insurance adjuster or the company's insurance adjuster will reduce your claim by about half the value. So if you are normally entitled to get fifty thousand for pain and suffering, the adjuster is likely going to cut that amount in half and award you twenty-five thousand. The same is true for your medical bills and your lost wages. Which is why when people ask me, should I go to the hospital or the emergency room or doctors or urgent care, if you're in pain the answer is always yes. Every day you wait to get medical treatment, the value of your case starts going downwards.
we settled a case against Stanley Steamer for $25,000. A passenger of a cruise ship was walking down steps on the ship and on her way walking back up after she already had slipped walking down, she slipped on her way back up. She claimed that it was water that the cruise line failed to clean up from the night before. She fractured her ankle and we settled that case for $25,000. One of the reasons why I settled for $25,000 and not more is I knew that if we filed a lawsuit, the cruise line would ask her, had you already slipped prior to the actual slip and fall that caused your injury? If she would have said yes, she would have been on more notice and should have used more caution, and I believe that that would have decreased the value of her case. She treated for about a year or so. She did not have surgery. She healed very well, and she was very pleased with the outcome. I've been focusing on the value of the pain and suffering component of an ankle injury or fracture. Understand that that's one component of the case. You also are entitled in Florida to recover your out-of-pocket medical bills and lost wages that you weren't paid, assuming that someone's negligence, their carelessness, caused your ankle injury or tear. I hope you got a lot out of this video. Please subscribe to our channel. Please comment. Let me know, is there anything you liked with this video? Is there anything you didn't like? Is there any other video you'd like to see in the future? Let me know your thoughts on it. I'm attorney Justin Ziegler. My office is in Miami. Have a beautiful day.